This is a control voltage switch the Moog works at. The output goes to the summing amplifier in the VCO. So voltage generated here affect the pitch of the VCO. I have two voltages preset using these two precision trimmers. One shifts the tone up by one octave and the other shifts the tone up by two octaves. These are digital inputs, so the idea is they can be either actuated by having a switch to ground or a microprocessor can drive them. This is the summing amplifier which adds together the voltages that are selected by the switch. Um, up to four sources can be selected, so you can actually select both the one octave and the two octave at the same time to give a three octave shift. This allows you to have a four octave range on the keyboard. Four of the Schmidt triggers in the hex Schmidt trigger chip are used to the four analog switches. There are two Schmidt triggers left and I have used these to produce a simple delay circuit. The trigger signal from the work stat comes through and through a diode shorts this capacitor out. As the capacitor is charging through these resistors here, a, the, a Schmidt trigger is converts into a logic signal which through the second diode turns off the keyboard scanning oscillator. This causes the note to pause. When the delay is finished the keyboard will rescan and possibly re-trigger. So if I hold the key de note down it I use my fingers, I can change the frequency because I haven't got a variable that's big enough. Keyboard scanning counter is reset every time it finds a note is depressed. This means that the lowest note wins when you press 2. By using this signal, which is the counter reset, and take that to ground, I can disable the counter reset. So with the delay circuit and the counter reset disabled, I now have an arpeggiator.